One morning, a young man left for work to meet his colleagues at the metro station. They claimed he was acting unusual when he suddenly turned and ran from the train. With contradicting eyewitness reports, it is unclear what truly happened at first glance. We are in charge of solving the underground murder. Another day, another case, detective. We've got a homicide in our hands. It's about a young male in his early 30s, cause of death still unknown. The body lies on the platform below, next to the metro. I've interviewed a couple of people, divided them into witnesses and suspects. We don't have a prime suspect yet, but the chief needs answers. Good luck. We start our search here. There are a number of objects in this room. As soon as you click on an object that you can use, it will open on your screen. Click on the ticket machine. With the keypad at the bottom, you can enter a code. On the ticket machine, you will find a logo. The same logo can also be found inside the notebook. Maybe they have something in common. Locks can be opened with a letter or number code. Communication is very important here. Decide who will solve the ticket machine and who will look for information and clues in the other areas to advance in the escape room. Oh, so one ticket, Harlem 148 Street, arrives in 15 minutes. Okay, Let's see the our notebook. Thing. City Patrol. Oh, I'm just Ooh. looking through the different rooms. Detective Valentine. I have my own notebook. Mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's so much stuff to click on. Oh, if you look in your notebook, it says somebody that you've talked to. Oh. Hmm. So Mike Smith. Christopher Ramirez, Peter Johnson, George Anderson, Kim Smith. The, oh, Jesus, this is a lot of info. <laughs> Eight pieces of evidence to find. Wow. So, first okay. things first, shall we read the description of the witnesses before we start looking for evidence or not? I don't know. How do we get a ticket? You're just jumping straight in. She's like, give me the damn ticket. Uh, okay. So, oh, there's a... If you look back in the little room with the ticket machine, there's a tic-tac-toe board. Yeah, just look at that. All right, all right. Whoa, I don't know what the, this means. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh, I'm sure we'll find I found something. a knife! Oh, it's evidence piece four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ID. <gasps> oh. Okay, I found a, a pistol. Oh, sh. <laughs> and a, uh, a coffee cup. Oh, and we found a... it at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a, a box, like, right next to this. I want to see what's, what's in the box. I don't know. There's a freaking body on the ground, too. Uh, but we've okay, got nine, a brief six, case three, five too. on the train. Oh, okay. I found a broken glass bottle. Send a text to five eight five eight for more information. I found a briefcase with a possible three-digit code. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, you can also have a look at the board. Herald Square. What's that? There's like three scratches on the screen. Oh, there's certain letters that have been blotted out. Oh. So, Whitehall, well, so E. Coney Street, Bedford Park, Brighton Beach. So, we got E O D T. Yeah. So, do you think that could be the tic tac toe thing? Yeah. Okay, that's going to take some figuring out, isn't it? I need a real notebook. To... <laughs> I'm thinking the same right. thing. Okay, you know what? I could just write this in my phone. That's what phones gonna... are for, right? I'm, I'm going old school. I'm going paper and pen. Okay. If I can find a pen. So, the letters were E... What was it? E... E-O-T-D... You know what? I think yeah, that has -O -T -D. to do with... Um... 
O T D. Okay. That was that was part of football. I really think that has to do with the tic tac toe thing. I feel like you might be might be right on that. T and E O T D. Okay, that's something. Do you think it has to do with like punching in a a number? You know what? Maybe, maybe. Oh. Is there anything else we can click there? I don't think so. I wonder what the dots mean on that tic-tac-toe thing. Hmm. You know what? What? I feel like I'm gonna do five, six. The only thing that throws me off is the T. Cause so like I was thinking, oh, oh I could put that in the, in the ticket machine, right? Cause tic-tac-toe kind of tick sounds kind of like ticket, right? So. Yeah. My thing is, I I put an E, which would be the middle button. That's technically five, right? That's five, yeah. I know where you're going with this. So it's yeah. six zero. But the T throws me off, because I'm like, what is that? Like, what? It doesn't match up with any of the others. True. Oh, this is... Hang on a second. What did I do with my phone? What if it's a... What if it's a... a... Five, six, four, four? No. Oh, so it's only three digits we need for the cre for the card anyway, is it? For the credit card? Yeah. I mean, is it? So they all have, either that or they all have to be different. I tried the code that was on the train. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why can't it be that easy? George, George Anderson is kind of suspicious. He works at Harrod Square and he was appointed as a witness, but he was said to have fought with the victim before he fell down. His briefcase is still on the platform. But the weird thing is, is the first guy we talked to, Mike, said that there was two people next to him and they both had blonde hair, but George has red hair. Oh. Oh, when we picked up the weapons, we got more info about it. Plain kitchen knife with blood found on the platform, not far from the victim. Knife contains fingerprints, but all belong to one person. A pistol was next to the victim, loaded, and no longer contains a full magazine. We found one fingerprint on the weapon. The coffee cup, possibly from the victim, found three feet away from the body. Cup contains multiple fingerprints. And the broken glass contain traces of blood found in the trash can on the platform. The body of the victim is only a few feet away from here. Bottle contains fingerprints of one person. Crap, okay. I was trying to see, but the fingerprints look look really different. <laughs> Not that I'm able to tell fingerprints apart in real life, but like... <laughs> yeah, it's worth a shot. I think when we get a ticket, we'll be able to get on the train. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And then I think <laughs> there'll be more stuff in there. Don't you think it's odd that you can zoom in on that poster? Is it the 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 mobile phone one? The five yeah. eight five eight thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's just odd. I was just putting things in order. With the White Wall Street, the Coney Island, and everything. I was wondering if we put those in alphabetical order, what would it give us? And it gives us one, three, two, four. But then there's three scratches on the screen. And I was wondering, would that refer to the third digit in the times? We and again, if I was to it. put those in order, it would be one, two. I don't, this is not going to fucking work. Two, three. Three, it'd be it exactly won't, the same. It won't let me hit a number more than once. No, yeah, that's true. But there's also um, a code lock for the door. Oh, you thinking that one? Maybe. Do, I mean, like, I'm curious if the times mean anything. I I know the letters missing mean something. But if like, I, if, yeah. What does the does the time mean anything? Are those so three the, scratches. Is that like a is that a red herring? Or just to throw us off? It might be. I mean, this is the crappy old subway underground. Like, scratches on things. You know? Makes sense. Yeah. So let's Except see. The first one is six minutes apart. 
then two minutes apart, then eight. I'm just gonna try it. Nope. <laughs> Someone screaming. One ticket for Harlem 148th Street arrives in 15 minutes. Did you know there's two scratches on the ticket machine? What? Yeah. If you go to Wait. the ticket machine and look at the screen part, like where it <gasps> says, I don't know if that's important. They do. So we've got two scratches there. We've got three scratches up on the side. So where's the one with the one scratch? And if so, is there something with four scratches? <laughs> We're Good crazy detectives. Uh, what's on this? I just keep coming back to this stupid text poster. <laughs> Me too. That's what I'm looking at. Hey. Do we, have, do we have a cell phone? Can we call somebody? Can we call these people? You notice that the writing's slightly blurred. Yeah. And have you also noticed that the two of the last digits don't match up? The <gasps> Look, does. there's a different shape behind it or yes. shadow. It's 63. 5863. Five, Boy. That's some sharp eyes. <gasps> Amy, but yeah, but yeah. you're so smart. Oh, hell, look at these. We're going to be adding times together. Look at that. Oh, baby, and now we know what those refer to. Oh, we're on to something now, Val. Try stopping us now. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, we got another damn lock. Okay. <laughs> okay. So That's we okay. take okay. we take the time that it is, or we just take Coney Island plus Whitehall plus Bedford Park. Ah, ah, now. So we have nine oh five on the clock, right? Oh my God! I just found some, <laughs> something else. Oh, oh shit! I didn't God. see that before that we could go that way. Oh my! Oh, I just what the. the what kind of map is that? What are you flipping? <laughs> they each have a four-digit code. Oh, oh no. the lock numbers. Look at the scratches. <gasps> the scratches. Bitch, we got it. We, we've seen two scratches <laughs> and we've seen three scratches. Where's the one scratch? Oh, Where's shit. The one? <laughs> Where's the one scratch? It's somewhere. Oh, do you see that note? Oh my god, that looks complicated. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> this looks, that right. looks like an electrical problem. I know it's not, but like, <laughs> you see the currents. It looks like some kind of map system for... I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go back and look at the times for the Coney Island. Okay. Um, and all the, you know, the rides. So we got Coney, Whitehall, and Bedford. Okay. So I have them. But what does it mean? That. And I've also gone back to the two scratches on the ticket machine to see if I can find a uh, four-digit code for that. How am I adding these, though? <laughs> oh, I love you're asking me. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, am I adding... What, what am I adding? The time differences or or the actual times itself? Because that would be a very different number. So I'm just going to add it like it is. 922 okay. plus. I think this is going to be a locker code, to be honest. Because there's a four-digit pass like code right beside it. So that gives us 2762. So... Oh shit, there's also a locker with just four letters on it. It was right. Oh, girl, seriously. <laughs> oh, <gasps> that's the thing for the tic-tac-toe. You think so? Yes, I know so. And okay. then we've got the letters to open the other locker too. <gasps> We're so smart. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture because I have you a shit, shit memory. I knew you were gonna get that then. I had full <laughs> faith in you for getting that. I could I could work a calculator. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at okay, R, R, 
Uh, and then we are looking at zero zero. That's oh oh sorry, not zero zero. Oh, I can talk oh. shit. And then M room room. It spells room. Room. Oh, so that's for which part? That's for. Okay, go to the stairs. Oh shit! I've come out of the bloody room again. Uh, there's a uh, you know that weird note. Oh. Uh, that we found like the different equation on the locker right next to that. Oh, it has yeah. a... Oh, <laughs> it worked! We have a sledgehammer. <gasps> I love how it updates on both our screens, so when you open the locker, I can see it too. That's cool. What does what that are we, say? Uh, what are we sledging? A ticket machine. <laughs> so this this is the one with the one scratch. You know that weird note with like the, the power symbols on it? Yeah. I think that says a lock and then it's got a one next to it, but I think that could be the one scratch. So we need to find the two missing digits. We've got two of them, which is three and seven. We just need the other two. I think we're doing rather well, don't you? I think so. Uh, I've okay. said that now, I probably cursed it, haven't I? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so... But why do they have these weird boxes around them with like little arrow thingies like i don't i have no idea like that looks weird right like it oh yeah i don't know and how does three and seven equal eleven uh, <laughs> exactly <laughs> what i'm thinking <laughs> um do these arrows do something special this is math i don't know how to do just doing it just doing a bit of math just ignore me for a second i'm just going to be babbling shit for the next five minutes <laughs> go ahead i'll crop <laughs> i'll crop all this out what about the sledge armor? I wonder what's looking weak. Can we, what can we break, Val? And how do we access, oh, hang on a minute, maybe. The ticket machine, we break the ticket machine. What's it say? Right, found in the engine room, hammer does not contain traces of blood. The object weighs 13 pounds and has a length of about two foot. The hammer contains fingerprints of only one person, presumably the suspect, George Anderson. Okay, so we can't break anything with it. It's just gone onto our evidence list. What was the numbers again? Because I want to try to get in the briefcase. Um, which numbers? It was like 13 and what? Oh, from that weird math thing? No, from the uh, description of the mal- or the sledgehammer. Oh, bear with. Oh, oh 13 pounds and two foot. Oh, yes. oh, bitch! Yes! That's a weird description for your code for your briefcase. It is! <gasps> oh. What, what you got? What you got? I found What's... there's a maintenance report inside, and it has these arrows that I'm assuming is going to tell us what to choose for a code. So, top How do left. I see it? Um, go, go on, can you go into the briefcase? Oh, bear with. I just clicked it on notebox thinking it was going to be added to that. Oh. oh, see how it's like top left, top right, and then bottom. So, we need to go Way back to tic-tac-toe.co. I'm assuming once we put the digits into that ticket machine, it's going to spit out a ticket with a four-digit number that we need for that specific lock. Yeah. So we do need that. And then... Oh, this damn drawing in the engine room. I know. What does that mean? Okay, so let's say let's say we solve it, okay? Like we know numbers that it should be. Where am I plugging this into? <laughs> mm. <laughs> like what's you know what I mean? Like where what is those numbers for? <laughs> is oh. it the locks? These one, two, three scratch locks? Yeah, it's, it's the number one scratch lock. Because we've got two and three. We know oh. two is the, the ticket machine and three is the um, the LED sign above the train. So I think well, that's lock number one. But how the hell do we get the other two digits? What, what is it asking? Yeah, we have to solve. Okay, so we need to, we really need to solve the ticket machine first. It was all yeah. fun and games until we got stuck, you know. This is nuts. I didn't know you could click on the names. I th I thought it just had only George Anderson's info. Oh no, this uh, 
a bunch. Oh, Kim's a blonde. Kevin's a blonde. Okay, we can rule out Ted Williams. He's homeless. He's just crazy through a glass bottle. You know? But it was a bloody glass bottle. Yeah, you probably, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't pull him out straight up. It's like, oh, he's innocent. Bless him. He's homeless. Stop picking on him. Yeah, I think he's just like in traumatized by watching this guy die. So Cam and Kevin were right beside him. They're colleagues of the victim. She indicated that she got on the subway at Coney Island. The victim has been very aggressive. She was with the body when I got here. So he was aggressive, huh? Um, colleague of the victim. They always travel to work together because they live close to each other. Suspect seems affected by the incident was nearby when we arrived. Suspect works at Herald Square and has been appointed by a witness. He is said to have fought with the victim before he fell down. So George... George was fighting with this guy. Why? The guy was aggressive. He hit several people in the face and really pushed his way out. I didn't really understand why. He also hit a colleague of mine with whom I was on my way to the station. Now he is being held as a suspect. I can assure you he has nothing to do with this. As far as I could see, the man just suddenly fell down on the platform. So I guess Chris was... Work, works with George. Yeah. Peter, I wasn't exactly close to this situation, but I saw that there was a fight. The victim punched someone in the face, and then, and that person then pushed him out with his large hammer he was carrying. <laughs> <laughs> he just casually carry a sledgehammer in the subway. I think he probably hit the victim with that. Again, I was not on top of it, but I think I saw it correctly. Okay, Peter. You're a lawyer and you know that you shouldn't be speculating. Mike he just doesn't know what happened. The man was very confused. Just before he got off the subway, he pushed some people over. Suddenly he heard someone scream. Um, but he saw people running away. Two people next to him um, were the blondes. Okay, so that's his colleagues. We know that. I think Kim and Kevin did it because they were tired of his shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wait, we don't even know this guy's name, do we? I it, ha it hasn't said. No. It just says victim. I don't want to do a hint, but I also don't want to spend 40 minutes <laughs> <laughs> figuring out a code, you know? I don't know. I got you, yeah. I just, the, that diagram thing is really annoying me because you don't need to be a super genius to figure this out. We know that. So... We're overcomplicating things. So, so this drawing on the locker, like the weird symbols and stuff, it says that this is for the first lock? Yes, I think so. We've got the three and the seven and the eleven and the eleven. What more do we need? Do you see the little elevens that are underneath the boxes? Yeah. So I think, like, for instance, if we're starting on the left side of the problem... It's something minus three? Yeah. Equals 11? So we just work backwards then. <laughs> so no matter which way we look at this, it's squiff. Um, uh... If you were to tilt that sideways, it also looked like it's giving you equals seven, equals three. This is why, are they actually saying equal? Oh, so is it equal? Yes, look, it is equal because look at the ones for the 11. It has like the little flick and the line underneath. So yeah. I think you're right. I think it's something. Are those arrows maybe saying you need to rotate it or something? So what minus what equals three? That would also be plus something else to equal 11. Oh, 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 I figured it out. Yes. Nice. Now I just got to do the math. <laughs> 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 but I see I see what it's trying to do. Yeah. The, arrow, the arrows are really odd, but I think it's just trying to tell you, like, you got to go this way, too, and this way, you know? It's got to work the both ways, right? Okay. Yeah. So this is solving for X, but you don't have a Y. 
<laughs> oh great, algebra. <laughs> Just what I need. This is something. This is something. I think so. <laughs> if you solved it in the time it took me to get a pen and paper. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I wrote the problem out. Neater. Okay. Neater than this. Fuckstorm. <laughs> oh, I'm such a You're a Yeah. Why? Don't worry about it. Keep keep working at it. Keep working at it. I, I'm not looking at this from all angles that I should have been. What realization did you come to? Just that I was being too narrow in my vision. I'm working on this now. <gasps> Don't. I've got it. I've got it. I've done it. No. I've done it. No, you did not. I did. I expanded my mind. I opened up my cranium. Hold up. I need you, first off, what's the answer? Second off, explain. Okay. So we have got the equals 11. Equals 11, uh -huh. equals 11, equals uh -huh. 3, equals 7. And then we got okay. the plus plus, plus minus. So all we needed to do was to configure different maths to add up to what those equals are, right? Yeah. Top left is 9, minus 6 equals 3. Okay. And then you put a 6 inside the box below it. And then you've got the equals 3. I see that. Okay. So then that would be the next one would be two and um, five. Yes. And uh, then also working the other way, two plus five equals seven. Done. Is Bloody that brilliant. I don't know. I'm going to try. <laughs> I was going to say, don't get me excited when you have any. I don't care. Yes. That's. that's We did it. What the hell did we just do? I opened oh. lock one with that combination. Oh. Oh, those are the arrows in the suitcase. That one. That's number one, dude. Oh my god. Oh, this okay. Is, this is okay. Easy. It's coming together. Okay. okay. So now we need to get number two. We need to work out this ticket machine thing, right? So this has nothing at all to do with the LED sign because that comes up. That's a completely separate lock. That's lock number three. Huh. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What? What? I've just had an epiphany. Tell me. Four, two, seven. Uh, what's that? Four, two, seven, six. Four, two, seven, six. I'm gonna try four, two, seven, six. What is that? Uh, that might be. That's the number of the letters that are blocked out. No, it would be five, two, seven. Six. Five two seven six. I was wondering what the hell was I thinking? You've tried that one? I think so. Unless I didn't count properly, but I just <gasps> Oh it you tried it on seven six. Oh you tried that on the cabinet, not I, I thought you were trying it on the the ticket machine. Nice dude. Cool. So what? That gave us oops, I'm going the wrong way again. Yeah, that's given us the the third code lock now. Why Which is down. Four? Yeah. My God. Again, am I just am I overthinking it? What the hell? <gasps> oh. Oh, wait a minute. My. There is a logo on the machine that's the same logo in our book and it has a station number that was the code where's the freaking matching thing oh my god so when i did that oh, I it, it it blacked out all the numbers except for one four eight and five i think I that's see. our second code <sighs> oh. oh wow that was probably the easiest one that we had and we just clean skipped over it. We'll unlock the metro. Oh. We're, in, we're in the metro, dude. Okay. All right. I'm clicking stuff. Oh. Okay. There's a three-digit number. Okay. Oh. Under a receipt. Oh my God! We have a phone. Password. Wait. Oh, draw pattern. Okay. <laughs> this is cool. I found a bag of poison, like so casual. Oh. <laughs> Is that all of our, um, 
our evidence? No, we still need one more. So a receipt police. from the coffee shop at Bedford Park Boulevard saved as evidence because I have a weird gut feeling about this. The receipt contains the fingerprints of one person. All right. Hey, the coffee cup and the receipt have the same fingerprint you can see. Yes. Okay, so we do have another briefcase over here. Oh, I think I found how to get the phone password. Yeah, me too. The Urban Metro line. Yeah. <laughs> I so, just clicked on it. Just like said. <laughs> so, do you... Let's see. Uh, let me look at the receipts. Bedford Park Boulevard. So they definitely came to... Let's see. Bedford... Bedford Park Boulevard is where it is. And we are at Herald Square. So it's diagonal right down. Diagonal right down. Yeah! Yep. <laughs> Too easy. Ooh. <gasps> Password! Password. Itulfkua. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The password is the cipher. Okay, so P is I. This is how we're going to work out what it is. A is T. Password. And then we can oh, work out exactly how the P put... is I. I yeah. see. And like the T is is A. Hey, W. Okay, so equals. So do we have any of those letters? Yes. We know that uh, X, L, V, T, I, X. So T we know is A. I, we do. S. We know that I is P. We don't have a V. We don't have an X. Okay, so the first and last letters. Escape. It we spells escape. Have... It's escape. Escape? Yeah, because the first and last letters, they're oh. obviously going to be vowels. I think that might be the password. Try it. Yes. <gasps> oh, you're so smart. Oh, this is the victim's phone, I think, because Kevin and Kim were his colleagues. Milton! Ooh. His name is Milton! Hi, Milton! So could you please email me the files we talked about yesterday? Thanks in advance. Kind regards, Sandra. Oh, <gasps> Kevin bought him coffee. Kevin, Kevin got the coffee. Kevin bought coffee. Okay, Kevin. At 8.20 a.m. Did you say the, fingerprint, the fingerprints matched? They... D oh! It, no, it was the receipt. The receipt in the coffee cup. What about the poison? Check, double check the poison, because they look, I'm sure they look similar. Um. <gasps> bitch, uh, shut up. What? what? It is the same. Kevin, you son of a bitch. Kevin so did it. We're keeping an eye on fucking Kevin now. I'm, I'm just gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he was up for a, pro a fucking promotion. Do you think oh, Kevin was jealous? No. He Kevin like, wanted it. Oh, shit. Let's uh, General manager. It was close between three of three. you, though. Three. Very much looking forward to seeing you in the position. <gasps> she found Ooh. out yes, or he he found out yesterday about this promotion. And so Kim did... was rejected, right? And so now it's only between you and Kevin. Going to help Professor with this research in the North Pole. See you again at the end of the year. Greetings, Felix. I think there's another escape room, right, with North Pole. Do you think that's alluding to that one? Oh, I think so. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, poor Kim. I just wanted to let you know I was rejected for the position, so now it's only between you and Kevin. Good luck. Okay, so Kim took it with grace, you know? So now we need a three-digit code for that briefcase. And the only thing I've seen in the phone... You're at 0820? Or 820? Yeah. I tried that. Didn't work. Try 924. Maybe I wouldn't. What the hell does that mean? Like a big circle, a, a medium circle, and a small circle. But why is it that all the other evidences have <laughs> numbers on them? They've got numbers, three, eight, but this one's got circles. I haven't seen any, anything else with circles, though, so... Mm. Yeah, no, it is kind of weird. Okay, hang on. Hmm. Okay, so, so we know the poison, the receipt, and the coffee cup. I've all matching fingerprints to Kevin, right? Right. And on the coffee cap, we also had, what's his name? The guy who died. Milton. Melvin? Marvin? Milton. Milton. That's the one. His fingerprint also matches the one on the pistol. 
say oh, one. That's Milton's the exact same one. fingerprint. Yeah, because he obviously set the coffee cup with the poison, but he was carrying a gun. Why are you carrying a gun, Milton? I mean, you can carry in the US. Insane. Why? Is he's going to work. It's morning. Is he that <laughs> nervous? What the hell, dude? Maybe, you know, Kevin just beat him to it. <laughs> I'm still clicking on different stuff. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What if we count all the circles within the stops and we take the largest one, that's the first number, the second largest one, that's the second number, and then the third largest one, that's the third number. You see oh, what I'm saying? Oh, oh. I thought I was on to something. <laughs> Freaking dots. Hmm. So... That could be, that could be eight. Right. That would be four. Hey! Oh! What was it? Eight, four, three! You I know what I did? I just counted them. <laughs> I went out and looked at the, the, um, whatever, the little dudes outside, the evidences. And I put them in order, right? The biggest one, which was, you know, eight, and then four is the next biggest one, and then three. What evidence is? Oh, out right. there. Oh, that's what it was saying about yeah. the bloody cones. Biggest to littlest, yeah. Oh, his. We got his last name, Milton Davis. Is there any other any other information available? Gun permit. Um, okay, so we definitely want him with a gun. Permit. Yeah. From Bedford Park. Oh my god, Park. now you've done that. That seems so simple. Reference the codes. <laughs> uh, so he has a ticket that he got at 8.12 a.m. Before I... the poisoning. Okay. From Bedford to, I'm assuming here... Are we done? <laughs> I, that's what I'm thinking. Like, where else is there to go now? I mean, this? we've got it all, right? We're, we're sure it's Kevin. My damn yes. eighth piece of evidence disappears unless I click, click on the coffee receipt, then it's there. <laughs> Let's go to the notebook and see if we can solve it in the notebook. It says to submit file. Wait. On the last page. Does it? Let me go to the last page. Let's pass. <gasps> eight of eight. We just do that then. Let's do it. Okay. Murderer. Oh, okay. Kevin. So Kevin. With, I honestly think he put poison in the coffee. He did because of the fingerprints. I really, I think that. And we're um, going to say, um, is it mispromotion or jealousy? I mean, I mean, both of those. Can't that be both? Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say mispromotion. I think that's the yeah, because this is just a lot more specific, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, you ready? Yep. Do it. Three, two, one, go. Kevin, yeah. Yes. <gasps>